Det var jag sagt som vi gör. But okay, just day one. Fuck. Day one, what am I all about? Jesus Christ, day three. Uh, I'm doing a bad, bad vlog. Sorry, there's no shame, and I'm not gonna apologize. Um, but I need to get up right now and move all my shit to a new villa in the space of one hour, or else I'll be late to go to Uber. For fuck's sake. There's only one way to get out of bed in the morning. It's just, uh, I can't just run out of bed, can't be naked. You know what, fuck it. <laughs> I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'll say you get out of bed in the morning, guys. Guys? I'm crying. Okay, bye. The boys are kitted. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> First fucking day in the pad, baby. Let's go. So show you around. We got a uh, let's go white lens, baby. Nice big living room. Let's go around here. Nice little kitchen. Four bedrooms, all on suites. I'm kind of decide which bedroom I want. This is bedroom one. That's the out front. That's my little rascal's gonna run around. Bedroom two, nice big mirror. I like that. And it comes with no, not this one. That view, man. It's a nice little morning view, eh? I like the mirror. That's gonna be fucking good for some things. Um, through here, okay. Look at this. Nice big living room. Pram, pram, mam, pranan. No. What's that fucking word called when you got like a fucking massive view? Look at that rice field view, bro. Just chilling here. Chilling here with a little movie night. TV, just chilling. Rice field view. <laughs> oh god, okay. This is my room, I think. I think I'm gonna take this room. You know, it's got the light, which I love. There's no big ass mirror, but it's got this funky fucking dream capture mirror thing. You know, you got your fucking storage over there. The only issue is, I'm not sure if it's a positive or negative, there's an outdoor bathroom. It is the biggest bathroom though, so I might just take it. And then look at this the shower and a mirror, bro. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know, bro. This is, that's good. That's nice. Um, let's go outside and show you what outside saying. So all these things open up. Yeah, I'm not gonna open that one. I'm gonna open this one and show you the dungeon. This door's a bit shitty. Okay, we come out here. This is where we're gonna go for the morning, little morning dip. You know, a morning dip. So, back gate, little rascal can just play here and you can like read a book or something in here. Is, it, is that a bean bag? That's a bean bag, baby. Nice little pool. Just have a nice little chill. Oh, look, that's my bedroom right there. So, if I had the windows open, you can just see right in, you know? You just, oh, mate, look at that. Nice little area just to read. Down the steps into the dungeon room. Fucking, I just stood in a snail. Sorry, buddy. Oh, fuck. Sorry, buddy. And then here, this is called the dungeon room. It's a bit spooky. This is a pee party, Tom's room, because he'd be the last man here. Uh, I mean, it's actually very spacious, you know? It's a bit short on the height, but it's got you spacious. You got this AC. This thing's dehumidifier. This thing's the AC. I should want to turn this fucking AC off because we don't need AC blasting until Tom gets here. First of all, where is the fucking AC? Your AC, where you at? Ah, here it is. So, yeah, this AC does not need to be on. Okay, dehumidifier. I'll keep it on, fuck it. Don't this room getting all fucked up. But actually, I just open this up. You've got a. Hmm. Never mind. This should be like shit. I want to show you that. Peace out, dungeon. Peace out. Peace out to this fucking snail as well. Ah, oh, bro. Fuck. I hate killing snails. But you just don't, you just don't see that there. See that? Pools, ice. Back in the palace. And I thought electric would be like. 
pretty cheap. Turns out it's like a million every four days, which is like 50 quid every four days, which we won't spend that much, surely. Surely not. I'm gonna fucking ban it. But this is a sick pad. I'm gonna go drive to Ubud now, maybe get some food in the way. See the fam. Come back, unpack tonight. Look at this kitchen though. Water on tap, cooker. Got this little oven thing that can be used for like, I don't know, cheese on toast maybe? Coffee, moi. Microwave, moi. Freezer, moi. Last but not least, the fridge. Big ass fridge, man. Gonna get the fucking meal plans and all that good shit. So, yeah. And out here, I'll show you this little bit. This video is fucking amusing for long. Nice little front area. Come out here. Got the little. Heading away in the little jungle of fucking whatever we are. Shout out in the Sujolo. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? First day in the pad, and this fucking humongous ass hornet just lands right there. I have to rescue him though, you know, because I'm not fucking around. We rescue our fucking. Our little fucking birdies, baby. Hornet or not, he deserves mercy. He deserves mercy. Okay, look at the size of that guy. Can you see that shit? He's fucking humongous. Mercy on me. Let me come back in. Easy as that, boys. Cam's out, family. He's on your website. He's king of the castle, he is. Oh, he's got setting, yeah. His mum being a tourist. I forgot that he was in a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You've caused chaos here, mate. You've caused absolute chaos. Make sure you've got that video, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm bullying you up now. They know more than me. I forgot they was there. <laughs> Get home before we get attacked, eh? In the little jungle. Our expedition. She woke up this morning and it was. What are you doing? These youngsters nowadays. What's this? Gladiators? No. Ceremonial? The Incas and, and things like that. I don't know what's happening now. There's a young one there. He's loving it. Hot tub time machine. It's a big fight now.
That's Dad's uh, second grab ride. How's he feeling, Mum, do you think? Oh, he's feeling cool. He's feeling cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There you go, mate. It's nice, I don't want to Nice, is it? Johnny. Oh, I love him. <laughs> First sun healing class for the parents complete. Guys, how'd you find it? Amazing. Really good. Very grounding. Very grounding. Very relaxing. relaxing. What's the biggest takeaway? A different feeling. I felt very, very heavy at the end as I was being pushed down to the ground. Mm. And I just feel relaxed. I found the humming. The humming was relaxing. good. It's true what they say actually, the humming does really calm your mind and kind of like yeah. zone you out. Like breathing's like, humming kind of like knocks you out a bit. I was going to be like, mm. it's nice to know that it's like a foghorn. The humming can clear you. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> like a foghorn. So it clears you. Sinuses and whatever, yeah. Yeah. It's a cleanser for the mind. Yeah. Good. <laughs> cleanser for the mind. But no, it was good. It's a good experience. And the pyramids of chi. They're made of, you think? Cardboard. It's like car 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 Little man doing his work. Well, a big man actually, but. Yeah, it is cow. Like corrugated plastic, but then it's got a coating on the outside. Yeah, it's so pretty here. That's what is happening. <laughs> Looking good. Rainy season. <laughs> okay, so I kind of fucked it again. I actually want to do some actual videos where I share, where I try to share some actual genuine knowledge, but. It's gonna have to wait because literally every day I've been doing so much random shit. Um, but most importantly, what you've just seen, I've moved into my new villa, which is I'm the only one here. So it's very quiet, but I do have little Lexi set up in the corner, just playing a little tune just to end the night, you know. Um, but no, seen the family in Uber all day today. Drove back, still have my bags and shit to unpack, but that can wait. More importantly, is I'm kind of peckish, so I'm gonna have to order some food, but it's quite late. And I have to edit this video and upload it. I need to get a better schedule for this shit because I'm uploading videos at like half past 11 at night. And honestly, 27 boys, like I can't last past 12 o'clock, honestly. But the little pad is sick. I do like it. Having somewhere to chill in a living room, hands down, so much better. All of last year and the two weeks of this year, I've been in Bali. So like eight months in total, I've been in homestays and like host not hostels, but like mainly homestays and like single room, just bedroom, fucking bedroom, bathroom. That's all you get. And this is the first time I've actually had like a proper villa, and it's beautiful. Like it's beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. It's, if you can do it, guys. If you go into anywhere like Thailand, Bali, and you have a few friends, get a villa. It kind of sucks if you're going solo, but maybe you're going like Facebook groups and trying to find people because it's so much better and it's almost like the same price, pretty much. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit cheaper sometimes. But no, uh, we've got a big ass day tomorrow. I'm hitting the gym, I'm gonna, do some, I'm gonna need a lot of work tomorrow. And I'm gonna sit down and just plan out my fucking life. Uh, there's a lot of shit I wanna speak about, you know, how my business is going, how I got started doing my business, the journey through that. I wanna show you guys some, um, knowledge that i've learned so if you're interested in starting your own amazon or clothing brand or anything like this physical products brand i want to have you guys just do that um i've made so many so many fucking mistakes lost so much money and if i could do it all again i'll do it so differently but here we are so if you're interested and i can inspire maybe one or two of you to start an online business and you know be you can live abroad that's an option it's Definitely not the easiest online business to start, but 
if it's something that you're attra- if you're getting pulled towards, then do it, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't want to try and say anything or I'm just going to show you, show you my knowledge of what I've experienced running a, a physical products clothing brand um, via Amazon and Shopify. Uh, if you want to do it, crack on. You can take my knowledge and crack on and do it. Um, but I also share some other things that I think are very smart things that anyone should get involved in when you're learning this whole self-development, entrepreneurial kind of skill set. Um, there's many things that I wish I did when I was younger or I wish I learned before I learned this and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's all to come, guys. It's all to come. But these daily vlogs, you know, I'm brand new to this stuff. This is day three, I think, or four. And, you know, we're still going strong. I'm actually... I feel like I'm better on camera already. Is that just maybe a weird thing to say already on day three? I calm the fuck down, Callum. But I do feel better. But I'm I'm in my house with no one around me. So until I'm walking down the beach, fucking with the camera like this, then I can't fucking speak really. But boys and girls, that's it for tonight's video. Hopefully it's a good one. I haven't even watched any of the clips, but... Hopefully it's a good one. We did quite a lot of cool shit with the family. It's our first time over in um, in Asia. So very, very cool. And yeah, it's going to be a fun next few days. We're going to do some fucking... So the plan is, right, there's some things I really want to do in this channel. Things that um, I want to do, but I've just been shitting my fucking pants, honestly, to do it. Um, I want to get into fucking pranks. Pranks of some sort. I've been like a kind of jokes, jokester. Jokester? jokey person and fuck around person my whole life so i kind of want to get into some sort of like light hard pranks but like milk how they started because it seems fun this seems fun as fuck really and i also want to get in cold approaching okay first of all right every boy out there every guy wants to be have the confidence and just the skill set to go up to any girl any girl he ever sees talk to her and if he likes her ask for a number ask for an instagram whatever it is right the thing is Saying it and doing it completely different things. And I want to fucking just get in the deep end and fucking do it. So uh, we've got a few boys that come to the house. They're all kind of like social media guys. I'm sure they'll be fucking up for it and just recording me looking like a fucking idiot. But it's going to be funny as fuck. And that's going to be a, a ballsy fucking thing to do. But like anything in life, when you jump in the deep end and you just fucking do something that's out of your comfort zone, that's where progress is made. That's where progress is fucking made. So there's a lot of shit like this I want to do. Um, might even do some fucking, bring along some first dates in Bali. You know, just do some cool shit, just funny shit. Um, whether that's entertaining or inspiring or fucking whatever it is, it is what it is. But guys, this has been a long one already. It's pretty much like a half an hour video, but here we are. See you tomorrow and good night. Wabam!